awesome, Max. How about that, Max? Isn't he great? He is, isn't he? And I need to tell you this. If I get any more of this fruit juice into me, my head is going to swell. <laughs> That's good. good. So what do we have going on in this segment, Daisha? Well, in this segment, we're going to be talking about some really wonderful alumni from the Henry Vescardi School and the new judge in Nassau County that is turning heads. Later, Chef Keanu will be coming in our kitchen to show us some, how to cook something in the kitchen. Well, if you ask me, I think we're going to fail at that. But anyways, I'll be showing you how fruit juice can solve any problem. This is now at the Viscardi Center. In addition to Max Mariah, we have some other star alumni from the Henry Viscardi School to talk about. Just some? Come on, Mariah, we don't have enough fruit just to cover all Henry Viscardi's alumni. That's true, but let's at least check in on a few more today. I'd really like to see what Ron Court and R Rachel Gross have been up to since they've graduated Henry Viscardi last June. I heard they're hitting the books at Hofstra University on Long Island and living it up there in their dorms. You're right, Mariah. Thanks to everything they've learned at the Henry Scardi School, including independent living skills, they're, they're hanging with the best of them at Hofstra. Let's take a peek. I started at age four, so and I was there until I, was, I graduated at 18, so. I started at age four, and I was there until I was 18, so. I'm dorming here. I'm here in Stuyvesant Hall, which is really a, which is a sweet style dorm. Basically, I have two roommates live in a different room and we share a living area. And it's really cool to live on my own and be an independent member of society. Hofstra's commitment to its students with disabilities has allowed Rachel and Ron to use skills they've learned at Henry Viscardi to live just like any other student on campus. Adrian has taught me to advocate for myself and to really have the courage and the confidence to stand up for myself and get what I need to survive in this world. As a human being, you really have to advocate for ourselves, especially if, if you have a disability. So here at Hofstra, you know, using the skills I learned at HBS, I always ask for what I need, whether it be whether it be a writer or someone to help me on a test or someone even just to hold the elevator door for me or push a button. Anything really is. I learned from the story. <laughs> Not only does Hofstra provide incredible access for its students with disabilities, but the Viscardi Center has a great history with the university. Our founder, Dr. Henry Viscardi, partnered with Hofstra in 1964 to create educational opportunities for the disabled and specialized training courses for educators at Hofstra School of Education. Find a school that makes you feel comfortable and really you can see yourself living there for four years or at least and just advocate for yourself and do what you need to succeed. Wow, Dr. Viscardi really would be proud of those two students. 
They're doing exactly what he envisioned when he opened Scardi School way back when. Totally. Dr. Viscardi's influence was a big part of our next alumni's success. In fact, Dr. Viscardi is the one who encouraged him to go into public service, eventually leading him to becoming Nassau judge. How, who would have thought when Rob Papillo was a student at the Viscardi that he'd go on to be a judge? Who, why wouldn't they? One of the things that Henry Viscardi teaches is that we can do anything that we put our minds to. We should all think big. This is a particularly special day because one of our very own graduates, Rob Papilla, is being installed as a judge. And this is the first time in the history of the school that a graduate has become a judge anywhere in the country. Hi, I'm Rob Papilla. I'm a district court judge of Nassau County and class of 1982, Harry Viscardi School. Some, some of the traits of a, a, of a Viscardi student would be resilience, hardworking. Uh, th those are things that we were taught by faculty and staff and by Dr. Viscardi himself. I took part in many of the extracurricular activities that the school has to provide for students, one of them being student government. Uh, I was uh, vice president of student government my senior year, and to this day, the trait of uh, interest in politics and, 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 the, uh, and government uh, was instilled in me at that time. Uh, I also think that my participation in the sports program here was an excellent uh, segue into leadership roles that I took on throughout my career. And today, being able to deal with people because in any way, shape, or form, any profession you go into, you have to be able to lead people, you have to be able to work with people as a team, and sports did that for me. Dr. Viscardi, uh, and he, he was an excellent role model for all of us. The efforts that he undertook to establish the school uh, in every legal fight that he took on to do so, that showed me that I would keep on going and going and pushing forward to my goals. And that's something that I always think about when I'm doing things in my profession. I think everybody has a point in their life when the stresses of the day-to-day -day issues uh, in trying to achieve a goal become very, very powerful on you and, and weighing. But when you're a Viscardi student, there's one trait that others may not have that Viscardi students have, and that's resiliency. When you get to that point, you take a break, and then you push forward again, and that's what Viscardi students do. Robert Papia graduated from this school, the Henry Viscardi School, in 1982. That's a long time ago. And he was just elected second district court judge, town of Hempstead. Wow. Hey, you guys can become a judge too. There's no greater feeling than people looking to you uh, and what you have done as a model to what they may be able to do uh, with their own lives. And to give them an ability to think that what they seek to be, uh, they can attain. And I think that's the thing that I walk away uh, from, uh, from these type of events, is that if the students can see somebody actually doing something with their life that they want to do, that they can pursue their own goals. So help me God. So help me God. Congratulations, Rob. Let's hear it for Rob Papilla. I'm so happy for Jess Papilla and his family. You know the third grade teacher at Viscardi, Miss Papilla, is his wife? She is? I did not know that. I'm so happy that the, the Viscardi students have great role models to look up to. 
and I'm happy. I got a judge on speed dial now when I get my driver's license. <laughs> you know what else I'm happy about, Daisha? I'm happy that students have so many great opportunities at the Henry Viscardi School. Yes, Mariah, and we owe all of those opportunities to the luncheon committee. Absolutely, their annual Reach for a Star Luncheon raises money to keep the Henry Viscardi School churning out star alumni. By giving students access to the same experiences as any other student, Viscardi shows them how they can achieve their goals just like other kids. That's right, like the programs, Friday Night Rec, Basketball, giving students the chance to hang out with their friends, build self-confidence, work as a team, creating long-lasting friendships with teachers and students. Let's not forget the Independent Living House. Weekend overnights at the house prepare Viscardi students for living on their own. The kids love planning and making meals together, playing games, learning household tasks. Well, maybe they aren't so keen about learning how to wash their dishes and do their laundry, but at least they know how to. The important thing is, is that they all have the social skills and confidence to go out and make their dreams come true. Man, I wish I was at the Reach for a Star Luncheon right now to personally thank the committee and all of the guests and supporters for all of the wonderful things they've done for the students at the Henry Viscardi School. Me too, and I hear the, the fruit juice is excellent. <laughs> this whole segment has just made me so happy. Yes, if there's one thing that Viscardi students know how to do, it's just make people happy. It might seem crazy what I'm about to say. Cause I'm 